Hi everyone, it's Vicky here and today I will be creating a winter card. I will be using these two whimsy stamps and uh, I just love this snowman. Whimsy has a nice and whimsical uh, designs and if you love coloring, make sure to check them out. You can stamp uh, the design as it is, but I really like to cut out all the excess. So I am going to separate the snowman from the snowflakes and the sentiment. I am using my scissors and uh, this is uh, Tim Holtz scissors that uh, they cut uh, this uh, stamp like butter. So I will be doing that and uh, clean off all the excess rubber. So now I'm ready to stamp. I am uh, stamping the snowman on uh, watercolor paper with black archival ink. I am planning to use my distress markers to color the image. Now at this stage of course you can use your favorite uh, coloring technique. It can be your alcohol markers, your pencils or whatever you like. I am also adding uh, a little bit of uh, clear embossing powder and this one that I am using actually has a uh, glitter on it. The embossing uh, kind of separates all the different areas and uh, it makes it really difficult for you to go outside the lines. Once my embossing powder is nice and set, I am going to use my distress uh, ink and uh, this is uh, broken china and uh, with a blending tool I will go all over the image just to create the sky. Now this is a very quick uh, and easy way to add uh, the sky on your image. I am being uh, a little bit careful so I don't go over the snowman but at the same time I don't really mind if I go over those tiny little details since I will be using my markers to color over it. It will cover up any mistakes. And now I will be using my distress markers to color directly on my image and I will be doing some blending with my clear wing of Stella. Now the clear wing of Stella is going to blend the color nicely and add that shading that I really love for my winter and Christmas cards. I'm not doing any crazy uh, shading and coloring. I'm just applying the color there and with the same marker I am doing uh, kind of the shadows and everything. And as I am coloring my image, just to let you know that there is a giveaway on my blog. So make sure to visit my blog for a chance to win two stamp sets from Whimsy Stamps. Both stamp sets are the ones that I am using on this video today. You also need to remember that in order to get uh, such results with your distress markers, you need to be working on a uh, watercolor paper. I never get uh, nice results if I am trying to, do to directly color on uh, any other kind of paper. So you can see how easy it is to color the snowman, but uh, remember I'm not doing any crazy shading. Also notice that I am staying away from uh, very bright colors since uh, the final card I want it to be more on the vintage look. Now my image is uh, colored and uh, for my card I will be using these two beautiful pattern papers. These are by 13 Arts and uh, the red one is called Berry and uh, the one with the musical notes is called Santa's Song. Now this is a Poland company with beautiful, just beautiful pattern papers and uh, as you can see I am using my dies first to cut out this rectangle and uh, now I will be cutting out a circle. Of course I am going for a, a shaker card today. I am just going to distress the edges. I am using vintage photo with my blending tool all around the outside edge as well as the inside of that uh, circle. Now I am uh, going to add uh, some inking at the edges of uh, the red uh, paper and uh, just uh, enough to cover up the white edge on the sides. I have gone ahead and added some acetate where the hole is as well as uh, covered up all the back with uh, some uh, foam adhesive. And for my window, I will be using this diamond dust. I had this product forever and uh, I think it is uh, time to start using it on my uh, shaker cards. I think it looks beautiful for a scene like this where I want to have snow where uh, the snowman is. Now I'm going to peel off all the backing and I'm going to stick it so that I can see uh, enough of uh, that snow at the bottom. 
And I also made sure that I didn't add uh, too much of that uh, snow because when uh, the cart is standing, I want that snow to stay only at the bottom of uh, the snowman. And I just love uh, the sparkle on this uh, shaker element. Both the snowman and the diamond dust are very sparkling, but it's so difficult to catch on camera. So now I'm going to stamp the sentiment. For it, I'm going with the word magic and I'm going to stamp it with my distress ink at the back of this pattern paper. I am using again um, vintage photo. I am going to stamp uh, the word and then ink up the edges. I am also going to make sure that this looks like a tag. And as always, you can find a full list of all the supplies that I am using for this card today just below the video in the description area as well as on my blog. I am going to create an interesting cluster at the top edge of my card. So first of all I am uh, tying a bow with this uh, seam binding and then I am going to secure the tag as well as a little uh, metal star from uh, Tim Holtz uh, where that uh, knot is. I am going to secure everything with um, glue dots. I'm going to use some tape runner at the back of this element and stick it on top of that uh, red pattern paper and then stick this on top of a top folding card that's four and a quarter by five and a half. So here are some close-up photos of the card today. I hope you had fun and got inspired and if you did don't forget to leave me a comment as well as give me thumbs up on my YouTube channel. Here are two more videos of uh, me creating winter cards to inspire you. You can click on any of the videos or if you are watching from a mobile device then you can find links to both those videos just below in the description area. Thank you all for watching!